Okay, so I was thinking maybe I might have to take this crankcase apart and reseal it again because if you look over here, you can see that there's not a whole heck of a lot of sealant. There is, there's sealant, but not a whole heck of a lot. So I, I didn't want to take a chance of, of actually leaking again. So I started taking it apart and you know, I'd feel more satisf satisfactory if it looked like this, I guess. But then I looked on the inside and it actually looks like there's no problems. It's sealed up nicely. Take a look. So you can see, oh, hold on a second, my fault, oily hands. Where am I? Here we go. So you can see that's sealed up all the way on the inside. And right about here is where it looks like it's not very much sealant on the outside. So I think I'm okay. No oil is going to seep through that. And that's exactly how I, I ran it the same way Toyota specifies running it. So if you look over here, so there's a little bit that comes out. This is the water jacket. You're not gonna get much sealant there because there's an O-ring. But all the way on the inside from back to front, You're completely sealed on the inside. It's just the question. Just this question here. I guess I was having, I was questioning myself, I guess. But that's looking like it's sealed up nicely. I just don't want to have another oil leak due to what might be laziness of redoing it. But I really think that I'm gonna be okay because you can see some of the oil dripping down from just flipping the motor over and it's dry as a whistle on the outside. So, I think I'm going to send it. I think I'm going to send it. I think it's going to be okay. I mean, it's all sealed up the same way on the other side. It's hard to tell on that side because I can't really get the camera in there. But you can see right there. Well, I think I'm just going to send it and see what happens. At worst case scenario, I guess I'll be taking it apart again, but I really, I really think it'll be okay because it's sealed up on the inside quite, quite well.